Yo, what's cracking guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about something that is super exciting that I think all of you guys will want to pay attention to and that is how to make $100 plus orders every single day. Uh, yeah, let's jump in. So in order to make consistent $100 orders like these, you really have to understand two basic concepts. Number one is buyer psychology, uh, why people buy, what the process of buying is and, and what uh, sort of journey people go through and how you can create that journey for them. Number two, um, sort of the mechanics of how to actually do that. So we are gonna be covering both in this video, lucky for you. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. Uh, like I said, we need to first discover what the, uh, the sort of, not the mechanics, but the, um, the psychology that a buyer goes through in order to uh, actually make a purchase. Because let's say, uh, for this example, let's just say we're using the fishing niche, okay? If you're Dix, it's Dix.com or uh, you know the store, the sporting goods store, um, it's easy to go ahead and sell like a $100 fishing rod, right? Because you have a brand behind you. Now, somebody like me who doesn't have a fishing brand, it's a little bit tougher to make that $100 sale and I'm gonna put more effort and more marketing dollars into actually being able to market it in order to make that sale. So, instead of going straight for the high ticket item like a lot of people do, what I prefer is to start with a low ticket item. So I'm gonna draw this out in Photoshop for you guys. But basically, you would start with, um, we'll call this a low ticket item. And this is generally anything between 10 uh, to $30, okay, sorry, I don't have a Wacom tablet, uh, so this kinda sucks, but um, yeah, so 10 to $30, hopefully you can read that, um, on your low ticket offer. So, uh, in the fishing niche, what are things that we could sell that are between, say, 10 to $30? Um, some things that come to mind, I don't know the, niche, the fishing niche that well, but I'm assuming like fishing line, fishing lures, um, maybe reels, I don't know how much a reel goes for, maybe that's not even close, but uh, we could do some research and figure out what it was. But let's just say for this example, we're using fishing lures, okay? I could easily see a fishing lure going for $7 to $10, maybe on the higher end, maybe 12. So what we could do in this example is say we have our lure. So uh, this circle will represent our lure, that's what we are selling. All we would have to do in, at this point is send traffic to this page and um, you know, assuming it's a good offer, assuming that you're using different conversion tactics on your website that we've talked about in the in the past in the past videos, then uh, you know you'll probably be able to get at least a four percent uh, return. Because what we're looking for here is not necessarily to, I guess, make a profit uh, per se. I, I would like to make a profit, obviously, but you know that's always the end goal. But I'm okay if I don't because I have things in the back end. And I have upsells which. I am kind of relying on to make the money, okay? So um, this is sort of the process that I think a lot of you guys are at right now with the whole free plus shipping thing or uh, you know, Instagram influencers. A lot of you guys are at this basic level where you're just sending traffic to a product and it might get 2%, it might get 4%, whatever conversion rate, which is awesome. You know, you're, you're making the money there. But where the real money comes in is when you actually put in some upsells. So what am I talking about here? Basically, we can find similar products to this fishing lure that we can use to then upsell and increase our average order value to that $100 plus, you know, maybe the highest order I've ever gotten was like $370. Um, and it's because I applied these tactics that I'm talking about, okay? But there's also such a thing as, uh, as customer lifetime value, which uh, for me, I know my tactics, like everybody, every person that subscribes to my e email list, I know is worth about $10 which isn't a lot. I know a lot of people have like, you know, everybody is worth $40, which is insane. Um, I'm not that great at email marketing yet, um, so I'm not to that level. But I know, say I have like 2,000 people on my list, everybody's worth $10, that's like, what, 20,000 right there. So um, essentially, either they buy or they don't buy. Either way, we're sending them to an email list where, uh, you know, we can retarget or we're also sending them to um, uh, Facebook retargeting, um, which is something that if you don't have set up, you definitely need to have set up, especially if you're doing Instagram influencer marketing because you can easily get like 500 visitors a day from one uh, promotion on Instagram. And if you're not retargeting those 500 people, they're literally gone, they're dead to you. So you can do retargeting ads for, I mean, less than $5 a day and you can make at least one sale off of that every single day. And then once it optimizes, you know, obviously do better. So if you're not doing this, definitely do it. That's like a non-negotiable. 
Okay, so back back to uh, on track what we were talking about. So uh, we have a low ticket offer. Say it's uh, let's just be easy. It's ten dollars. Okay. Once they add this to the cart, okay, they click the the little red button there. They, they add to the cart. They will be shown an upsell offer. Okay, which is going to be this right here. This is going to be our upsell. Okay. Now, what is an upsell offer? Essentially, it's something that we can offer that is more expensive, but also is compatible to what our low ticket offer is here. So in the case of selling um, you know, lures, we might be able to sell our fishing rod, we might be able to sell a reel that's more expensive, we might be able to sell like fishing a tire maybe, you know, just different things, maybe like um, those little, uh, they're like GPS things that you can find where the fish are. You know, you could sell something like that. There's all kinds of things that you could sell that are way more expensive than, um, than a fishing lure um, to increase your average order value. So now instead of every person being worth $10 or whatever, they're now all of a sudden worth, say, $75 because um, say you even have like 10% of the people that purchase this buy, uh, you know, an upsell, you're already increasing your average order value and you're already increasing your profits. So this is how you do it. Um, also, after, uh, you know, after they accept the upsell or, you know, just buy here, they will again be sent to an email list. Uh, it's called a new customer list is which I, what I call it. Um, where you'll be able to offer them additional upsells to increase your um, your average order value again. And that's where you get like the $10 per subscriber thing, which hopefully it should be higher. But essentially this is how it works. Hopefully it's not too confusing. So how do we actually go ahead and set up this process? So um, there's a bunch of different apps, but one that I like to use is called Boost Sales. I'll leave a link below that you can get a 10% off coupon. It is a paid app, um, but I mean, it's definitely worth it. It's I think it's like $29 a month, but I mean, like I showed you, I made two, two sales today that were over $100. So, um, and those for a fact I know were because of this app. So, I mean, it paid for itself times, was that times five or whatever in just, uh, you know, one day. So it's kind of a no brainer. Again, if you want to, uh, you can get that 10% coupon if you use the link below. But essentially how it works is you have different, different types of, of things. So you have upsells, you have cross sales, and then you have uh, things like last up, upsell, custom upsells, all, all kinds of different things, which uh, you don't really have to focus on right now. What you're focusing on is uh, basically the difference. So upsell is only shown when a customer um, actually adds something to the cart. That's when you show them the upsell, okay? So someone adds the lure to the cart, we show them the fishing rod, right? Cross sell is shown beforehand. I generally like to stick just with the upsells because I think they're less intrusive, but you know, you can do whatever. So. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you a whole lot with this app just because um, this is my one of my current stores and I don't want to show you know all my products and stuff. But uh, essentially, you just choose an offer name, uh, frequently bought with. Uh, you know, there's some some uh, different presets you can hear. Uh, I kind of like to complete your order with because it just uh, it feels like somebody you know you, my order is incomplete if I don't do this. You know, so uh, I like that one, but you can do you know whatever you want. And also this is really cool. So they do have something called smart upsells where it's just automated. Um, I do that on some of my stuff, but anything that I want to be very specific with, I'll choose a specific product. So let's say I'm not going to add it because it'll show my products, but let's say you pick a fishing lure, a specific fishing lure, and you want to show um, you know, the ads there or the, um, the upsells there. So what you would do is either pick specific products if you have specific ones, or maybe you have a collection of just fishing lures, uh, you could add the collection of fishing lures, whatever. And then the upsell products, these are the products that you're actually going to be upselling. So, um, you know, say you want to upsell a fishing rod, you want to upsell, um, you know, that little GPS thing. Those, those, those are things that you will put right here. And uh, essentially this will come up in a pop-up that you'll be able to see, or that the customer will be able to see once they add something to the cart. So uh, this is literally the only app that I use. Um, and then I use email marketing, which I have a series coming out about email marketing. Pretty soon, probably within the next few days. Uh, super stoked about that. I think you guys will love it as well. But uh, yeah, that about wraps it up for this video. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. If it was, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out and it helps other people that wanna see this information be able to find the videos. Um, so definitely go ahead and do that. And uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Again, I said I'm doing the, uh, the email marketing course, which will be sick. Um, and lastly, if you're not already subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys tomorrow. I need you in the morning, oh, oh, yeah. I need you in the midnight, oh.